All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Well, here we go again, huh? I remember when I was in the military, we used to sing cadence, a cadence. I used to sing it all the time. And it goes something like this. Here we go again. Same old shit again. Marching down the avenue. And then we would talk about how many more days that we'd have to do this until we be through. And uh, of course, I wonder how many more days is it going to be that we're going to continually keep visiting situations about this thing right here. You know, this thing right here. A gun. Handgun. Now, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. It's obvious that this particular court, as well as the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, and the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, are out of step and out of touch with the American people. It's that, that, that's obvious. But you know what's amazing? One of the most communist states that we have in this republic, which the news media, be it Fox News, MSNBC, or CNN, whoever it is is reporting, they will try to cram it down your throat that we are a democracy. Well, only one problem, though. Y'all know what I'm getting ready to reach for, especially if you've uh, been part of this channel any given time. As I have these right on my desk. This is called a copy of the Constitution of the United States. This is called a Declaration of Independence. I have both these documents, and I keep them on my desktop, just like I do the Bible. And what is utterly amazing to me is that the most communist circuit court in the United States of America, which will probably be the seventh um, circuit court out of Illinois, they actually say, you have a right to carry a gun beyond your home. Now, what is the purpose of, of all this? Why we continually, over and over, and over again, keep revisiting this, this gun situation that's going on here in this country? I'll tell you the reason why. Because there's an agenda. There is a coup. There is a shadow government that is working behind the scenes, posing as Americans, posing as they are really, truly down with the Constitution of the United States of America. But the truth is, they're trying to trump it. And what they want, they want conditions like Nazi Germany. Let's just go ahead and tell the truth and shame the devil. Whenever you disarm a population, all right, that population automatically becomes compliant with whatever the powers that be, there's just something to be big government. Whatever they say, and whatever their law is, and, and you have to understand, Canada is not a free country. Australia is not a free country. England is not a free country. They used to be when the citizens could bear arms. You see, what they want to do is they want to take away the fight that the founding fathers had already, through their documentation, put in the power of the people because government don't like the competition. That's what they don't like. And, and it's a whole lot more easier to deal with you and we'll meet a whole lot less resistance if you're not on. I'll give you an example. Y'all remember some time ago, we had all these big movements all across the country called Occupy Wall Street. And then it went to Occupy Arizona, Occupy California, Occupy Tennessee. Occupy, it was Occupy everywhere. And the one thing that I really, uh, Occupy New York, can't forget that one, because the people in New York, they are disarmed. And I want you to pay attention. Listen to what I'm getting ready to say. See, the problem with Americans today is that you forget. You, you, you If it's not within the last month, you totally forget the past. You forget and you constantly and continually over and over and over and over again Continually keep repeating the same mistakes again. That's why it's very important to know what history says. 
When I watch the posture and I watch the behavior of law enforcement, that's what they call them, in New York, I watch them with the citizenry of people. I watch them abuse them. I watch them mace them, kick them, hit them, fight them, all for protesting. And mind you, the people do not have in New York. Now, you have one of these in New York. You know, people up in New York, they think that this is a sin that cannot be forgiven. <laughs> they believe that mess. <laughs> this is. <laughs> but I watched the behavior of law enforcement up there and how they just literally rule and dominate the people up there. And then when you went out to Arizona and you watched the same Occupy Wall Street or Occupy Arizona, you had citizens standing on the street corner at the ready. AR-15s, locked and loaded. The police was over here. The protesters were over here, peacefully protesting. And then they had a bunch of citizens that had, if not the same firepower, more firepower than the police had over there. And you know what? That was a peaceful protest. Then some liberal news media person comes up to one of the, the people that had an AR-15 and they were armed and ready. They said, um, why are you here with your guns drawn? They said, we're here to ensure the right of these people to peaceably protest. Um, of course, now I'm not going to get into it, to the sociopath mindset of the liberal news media. But it was very peaceful. Totally different than in New York. Go back, do a YouTube history search, and see what I'm saying is so. Because, again, if you have power over someone, it is inevitable you're going to abuse that power. That is why, be it social, political, economics, or religious, everybody has to have checks and balances because we all have to be held honest because if nobody's going to check you, you're not going to be, I'm telling you, there's a spirit in you. You're not going to be righteous and you're not going to be honest. That's just the truth. It's a fact that the politicians do not believe the laws that they so-called ascribe to and that they're obviously out of touch with the American people because if that was the case, if they want the whole population of America disarmed, then they would follow their own rules and disarm their bodyguards, but they're not about to do that, are they? You see, this whole thing about what the Democrats and what the liberals are pushing, that they're not telling you, it's this. They want gun registration so that they can know what houses to go to, like the Gestapo that they are, and kick down the doors and come in with the liberal SWAT teams and... Drones now, drones now. See, they ain't got to search you out. They can just drone. They can just put a drone and just blow you all to hell <laughs> nowadays. And we got, a, what, 30-something plus thousand drones flying up here in the United States of America now? Whoo. Mm. But they want registration, and it's not for the criminals because the criminals never have complied to one, one gun law. Criminals don't comply to them. Nowhere in the Constitution... And I've read it. There's James Madison, any other drafters, anybody ever say that you have a right to secure um, your home. It doesn't say that, of course, it wasn't a car. It was a horse and buggy back then. Um. You have a right to secure your home, but you can't secure your horse and your buggy. You can't secure your carriage, i.e. modernization. You can't secure your car. You can't secure your truck. It doesn't say that. This is all about securing yourself and your person. You see, there always there has always been a weapon throughout the history and annuals of time of human existence where people defended themselves. And for a long time, it was the sword. Can you imagine? Look, look, uh, an average sword is, is probably about this long, a physical sword. 
That here's the rationale of today. You can't carry a sword in any state of America like this on your person. Boy, you would end up in jail fast. They will shoot you on the spot. And a sword is nowhere near as lethal as this. Mm, mm, mm. My question to you is this. What kind of country is America to where the courts now are the ones who are deciding what the law is? I mean, what's the purpose of the politicians? Are they not called lawmakers? Now we got these kangaroo courts. <laughs> and you know, I have to laugh. I truly do. I've got to laugh. Because I got to keep myself from crying because I'm looking at all these news articles that are sitting up here uh, about this federal courts of appeal. Mm. You know, this thing could be settled real easy. You know how it could be settled? In this republic. Now, and I'm going to say it again. If you listen to Fox, CNN, MSNBC, or whatever news media source is out there, they, you're going to hear you and continue to keep hearing the word democracy. Can't find it one, not that word, nowhere in here. <laughs> it, it, it's a constitutional republic. I know it is. It's a constitutional republic. Look at that. Mm. Man. But you know what's amazing? You know what's amazing? If we bring this issue, because after all, it's supposed to be the will of the people, and let America vote, that's the end of it. And and that's what the liberals and the Democrats don't want. You know, the, I, I am utterly amazed. Again, I want to say this again, and I say it with all passion, and I say it with all truth. I am utterly amazed at black people, you know, the people who have been classified black African Americans in this country when you claim to be a Democrat. I mean, if there's if stupidity has hit the zenith. You can tell that that these people know nothing whatsoever at all. They don't know anything. It, the Ku Klux Klan is the ones came through the Democratic Party. <laughs> they just, I mean, of course, they're going to get offended at me because, you know, black folks, uh, they are illiterate. They don't know what to believe because they rather listen to somebody and base everything on what's in that wicked heart feelings rather than actually sitting down and reading something and then coming to a conclusion and using your own mind, rational mind, but they can't do that today. So now we got all these sociopaths up here governing the people today, which we didn't elect. They were already selected. If we go back to the sentiments, the thoughts of the way that these people believed 200 years ago, you homosexuals are finished. You would literally be burned at the stake or shot in front of a firing squad. You women that kill babies in your womb, you would be burned at the stake because they would consider you a witch. It's obvious that we've grown as a society that we can't, hey, we don't have muskets nowadays. We have, still have firearms, still have firearms. You know, I'm utterly amazed. I'm utterly amazed. But what they want is gun registration so they'll know just kind of like when you do the census. So they'll know who you are, where you are, what you got, what you're doing. And then that's the first step or another step into total gun, gun compensation. And that's what they're going to do. That's, that's what they're trying to do. Uh, only one problem. Um, see, you people out there in the city, y'all live around, uh, man, y'all got such a police force out there and, and, and don't make, now make, don't make any, any mistake about it. The police is not there to protect you. They're there to protect the politicians. They're there to protect each other, but they're not definitely there to, to protect the citizens. Think about it. Every crime that takes place in the big city, it's already committed before the cops even get there. And the only thing the cops are going to show up to protect is the banks. They're going to protect the banks. 
pretty much. Now, if there's just trying to be a cop around and somebody's drawing a gun on somebody, then he would probably, because they're going to shoot because they already know that they're not going to get prosecuted um, uh, prosecuted in any way, shape, fashion, or form. And they're going to try to go down like a blazing hero or something like that because they know that the laws are for them. But so you people have an illusion in the city that you are protected by the police officers. But when you look in the cities is the major area where people die because of criminals having guns. And every law that is passed today is not passed for criminals. Criminals, how many times we got to say this to get it through your thick head? Criminals do not obey laws. Do I like the NRA? Sure, I like the NRA. But all the thing they're doing is they're just basically, in a nutshell, how pray, how they pay a steep price to these prostitute politicians to continue to keep lobbying over something again and again and again, which this is already done settled. Well, rail regulated militia. Okay, good. So does, does that mean the states regulate militias? I think that what we should do is we should get a hundreds of thousands of militias all across this country. And the state is whatever our state of mind says. Well, see, when we live out here in a rural area like we do, this keeps things honest. And another thing, living out in the country, living out in a rural area, we don't have the problems that you people have in the city. Man, you people are dying like flies in that city. I don't know why Israelites... People who espouse to follow the Bible or Christians, whoever it is. I can't understand for the life of me how that you read the Bible and yet you cannot discern and you cannot understand that that Bible teaches you to get your ass out of that damn city. I don't understand it. I don't understand how you miss I know why you miss it because you want to continue to keep deceiving the people to make excuses so you can continue to keep up your plus lifestyle because you're not about to come out here and grow no garden. Uh, you're not about to get out here and, and because you're too prideful to get on your hands and knees and plant a bean. Uh, but so you like the life of ease and you're going to stick with that. Um, and that's the only reason why that you stay in the city. You just like lotting them. Except this time, an angel is not going to drag your ass out of this city when the fire comes down. That's just all there's to it. You're talking about America going to be destroyed and you're in the very places where destruction is going to come.